What's up, everybody? I'm trying to navigate my way through oh, Lower Indar to get over to Recycling near Tarich. Hey, buddy, I got that too. My mouse, my mouse, my mic sounds a little weird until I have this new system figured out with the new rig. So it's just gonna have to sound like this for a while. Might not have heard me, because my sound was a little loud. So, here I am again. This time, playing with one goblin, three gex. I think that's a good spread. But I put the gek on the left, because most of the time I'm facing the right. And this time around, I decided to put on the gek, on the goblin, I mean, thermals thing I've noticed about the goblin is that while it's pretty dang good up close and the 75 which is 15 15 rounds over the 50 for the gex that's really good but at range it's it's way worse than the gecko you can see the spread it's kind of like start going all over the place there it's pretty widespread but when you use the gecko there is a little bit of a spread, but especially if you burst fire, it's way, way straighter. The way flatter shot. Way flatter shot. So, on the GEC, I decided to go with the... <laughs> with the GEC, I decided to go with zoom, so you can hit further away. But with the goblin, I decided to go with thermals. And the thermals now has a has a 0 0.5, I think it's a 0.25, 125% on it. So it's kind of like a default zoom anyways. So that's what I'm going to go with. See how that works for a little bit and whether or not I should sw switch it out for Nyes. Although I don't think Nyes is going to be good, which is uh, night vision. You can still s you can see up to a thousand meters, but the goblin still has the same problem with uh, the, the far away. Whereas the thermal is just a little bit better in spotting people, like poking and all that stuff, or peeking. Whereas if you have the, if you have the knives, you can still see really well in the dark and all that, but it's just a little bit harder to make out individual people. A little bit. So there we go. We're in action now. I can get a little bit closer up in people's grill. I've got my, Got my headlights on and announcing to the world that I'm here. Looks like there's a friend in there in need. Oh. Bad person there. I have sweeper on because I'm trying out this new this new reticule that Bob Laportos did. It's meant for Vanguard AP, the new one with the updated muzzle velocity. But I'm trying it out now for the, I mean, across the board, really, because I don't want to keep on switching every time I change vehicles between Vanguard and Colossus. So I'm just going to switch with this one. What I really liked about the other one, I can't recall who made it, sorry, uh, but it's really cool, is the one with the color scheme, uh, the one I've been using in a lot of my VODs. What I really like about that one is it has a mini map overlay, too, so I can see what's straight ahead. Which is really good for me when I'm at range. It's sometimes hard to see, tell what I'm looking at straight ahead at the range on my mini map. So that's been really helpful for for my tank play at range, being able to coalesce or being able to correspond what I'm seeing. You know, five hundred. A thousand, ten thousand meters out. I guess you can't render that range, uh, render range that far. I don't remember what is render range. Six thousand. So being able to see six thousand out, but also knowing which you know direction at scale that is. So that's been helpful. But I'm gonna try out Bob Laportos. I I play the Vanguard all the time, so we'll see. 
And that's why I have sweeper on so that I can see how far away something is and just kind of judge its accuracy. So we have, we can do that right now with, so this is first person, 400 meters away. So it should shoot where it says 400. I really like that he did that. That's, that's cool. I was going to make my own and do something very, very similar to what I'm seeing right now. But if I could do that and have the overlay with the, with the straight line, that would be even better. So let's shoot right at the visor. Okay. Not far off. It's like half a tick down. That's really cool. So let's do it at first person. No scope. That's much different. Where did it land? Land at about five and a half by 50, it looks like. Yeah, 550. Now that's two times. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was already scoped. So that is scope at. This is. I need to get back to 500. Or 400, excuse me. So 400. Let's look. So it's about, what, 150 over? Yeah, 550 still. So it's about 150 over, not bad. So one and a half ticks. Now if I go first person, no scope. Looks like it's still, yeah. Still only half a tick down. That's that's pretty cool, Bob. That's pretty cool. You sighted that in. You may not have, might not have meant it for the Colossus, but here I am using it, <laughs> and it still seems to be accurate. So I'll see what the trade-off looks like here. Not much to do except just kind of chill for 55 more seconds. It's low pop right now. I might switch to the Crown. There's usually a good fight going on, but the pop, pop is really horrendous. So I don't know if I'll survive very long over there even by myself there's no retreat i can't run i can run to grab a pass but there there's open terrain i'll just be hunted down with any sort of rat pack that you know four or more will be probably enough to kill me before i can kill them so this is probably my best bet in order to stay undercover of some sort and have friends nearby so there's a there's pop advantage here, uh, but mainly I have friends that can help me. Whereas up, up here, it doesn't look like, it's like there's barely any friends. So, and then up here, that might have been a good one or could be. Mao looks like a good spot to be in. They're fighting pretty hard. 2448, yeah, I might, I might go up to Mao. Whereas here, I think we're going after Tarich next. CPDX. <laughs> Synonymous. Okay. I don't know those cats. They must be new. Uh, so, being here in a Colossus actually is not a terrible idea, but, but if you don't have gunners, you can get yourself in trouble here, big time. Because I can deploy, and this shield will extend above me over a point. So it's like having a little mini shield there. And with the with the, the gate shields up, well then I have even more protection from outside hits. All the people coming in from mezzanine will still have to get through the shield. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Gunners won't be able to help except on the ground floor, but you know, still more than enough firepower to hold my own here. I have to, I have to optimize that for live ops during prime time. This is not prime time for Connery. But yeah, that that fight up there is going pretty hard. I like like the idea of that and these it's like they're still wandering around Tawrich not much I can do here because low pop and it's deactivated so maybe the best thing to do is 
make my way up to Mao. Some Vanguard play. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think it's time to go up to Mao. I can probably turn left at Feltz and be fine. Which path do I need to take? I need to take the middle path. So, I'm gonna go ahead and GTFO and... That's not, that's lower. Let's go middle. And I'll probably cut all the way to Mal, just to save the, the VOD time length. I wish they changed the the icon for the glaive, or not the flail, because that that's a glaive. It's a glaive round. Those three little looks like comets. Those are that's what a glaive round looks like. A grave salvo, but a flail is more well real life, I guess. Kind of you can see like the missile tracer. So if they change that to missile tracers, but kept the same rotating, whatever that reticule circle thing is, then that'd be good. And I could tell the difference, but it's first world problems. Please tell me the fight's still going on. It is, it's going on pretty hard too. Looks like they're trying to touch the warp gate. One surefire way to piss off the TR and stir a hornet's nest, literally, <laughs> is touch their warp gate. It's like a TR tradition to all oh, that body. The, the guys, I think that means he abandoned his vehicle. Touch their warp gate. They will spend the next alert trying to focus you. That's it. I've seen that happen so many times. Alright, now I'm skating. I think I can make that. Now flip it! No! Oh, shoot. Just give it a little bit of a little oomph. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. So this is gonna require a little bit of finessing. It's possible. This is still easy to do. Not easy. Uh, it's still doable. So the thing about the Colossus is the mammoth tank, the mammoth cannon is so powerful that I can use it to move myself. So now I just have to shoot. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I think all I need to do is get my butt. Oh, 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 come on, come on. I'm moving. Slowly. I'm moving slowly. Let's try the other way. Okay, okay. Almost. There we go. I'm out. <laughs> that was funny. Silly rock. Yeah, the physics with the mammoth, mammoth, the the cloths are hugely exaggerated. Any little thing can just get blown out of proportion. So you have to be careful about everything. Uh, you can't just take hills and bumps for granted with the colossus like that. <laughs> I just wheelied. Uh, but if if that was at the wrong angle, that could cause me to flip. So gotta be careful with how you deal with that and the worst one is the worst one to get trapped in is Hassan because everything's so close quarters it's difficult I'm gonna go this way. yo hey son I think oh look another Colossus I think this is the non-americans plane Yeah, yeah, I think these it's firing. They don't seem yet.
Got him. One down. I think there was another somewhere. Playing on ultra settings is really cool, but it also means that I can't see everything like I used to on potato. It's a real, ooh. I can hit them. At an angle, slightly down. That's some pretty good Valk play from our teammates. And there's a, oh, cool. I bet you right here I can do it. Just angle down a little bit, there we go. I think I got it. Yeah. Missed. Stand still. Dang it. Oh. Got him. This is actually a really good anti-air tank. Let's try and kill some stuff. Yeah, this is a really good base killer too. All right, now that I'm at under not under 90% health, next time I'm going to do a little fire suppression thing. So it saved me. If you didn't see my last video, I found out that fire suppression, when it says it will stop overheating, what it means is it will stop one instance of damage on the Skylands battle. So that's that saves you 250 health, um, but because it repairs 10% of the tank, you want to do it only when you are under 9,000 health. That way you can get the benefit of the 10% and not take an instance of 250 damage. So, niche play is what that is. What? Okay, that looked almost almost like a, a, a flail a flail smoke but that was just my cannon there we go construction key Come on i found that being in third person been able to make more kills in third person i don't know why yeah i'm not really sure what's going on with that Alright, trying to hit that module, whatever it is, back there. Oh, oh, that's a fl It is a flail! Huh. Alright, fire suppression and fire. It's a pretty cool little trick now. It's, it makes me want to use it way more, which was the problem I had with fire suppression up until this point was I didn't use it very frequently and by the time I did use it most of the time it didn't matter anymore so I would die pretty often even with it so but when I use a mad cannon that's just so much of a drain of health that you can't really the NAR can't keep up but this fire suppression now is it, it's a sequence that I can put into my play that makes it useful all the time. And now look, construction. Dead. So I must have killed another module in the way. And now the flail's gone. So. That's pretty neat. Got invited to a squad. Oh look. The Colossus squad. What's up, buddy? He has, he has a full contingent of gunners, too. Look at that. That's just pure power. That's awesome. I really love the Colossus gunners. I, th I think, in some respects, they're more powerful than the Mammoth Cannon. Because they're so accurate and they hit so hard. It's very, very powerful. And I have to go way up there. So a tick and a half. I have to remember. It's a little bit hard to see this at range, but we can work with it. The 
Is that that orbital? It is the orbital. I don't think I can clear it. Yeah, way under. What? Get out of here. Punk? I'm trying to mess with my people. Ooh. Ooh. Multiple prowlers. This is going to be a fight. This is going to be a proper fight. So the Colossus is banking. He's retreating, but he's going back. He's got a contingent that protects him. I don't. With these prowlers, they have to expose themselves in order to shoot. So I have the advantage because I have the low ground in this case. High ground is not normally, I wouldn't say normally, but a lot of times high ground can punish you as a tank. So if I can just get myself down enough, yes. Oh, shoot. Just enough to where I can fire along the ridge line, I can take those puppies out. I think I can get, I can thread that needle, right? Nope. Cannot thread that needle. So, am I stuck? So we have a, this is actually a pretty good battle line. I, I like what we're doing here. There's coordination tank coordination going on so we i kind of have the flank right now which is stopping the prowlers from moving down through the mountains behind this contingent if i were to move up which i want to do but if i were to then i would be leaving our backs exposed wouldn't be giving anybody something to think twice especially now that we've got this base with an active base builder in it oops that's not enough with an active base builder it's pretty cool i like seeing base builders especially this this is kind of like a, a it's a defensive fob but but definitely forward now because they're on the front line so now i'm gonna go ahead and use my full might take this puppy down wait till i get down below 9,000. pop my oh he's wrapping battery has a wrap out and a wrap on Oh, looks like he is repping and the rep module. It's it's way too fast just for him. Okay, so that one's down. And I'm at 8,000, so pop my fire expression. Wow, this is way more useful now that I know to use it. <laughs> With 10% uh, decrement. Let's just really optimize and see... Render? Okay. Let's make sure that settings aren't glitching on me. Go all the way. Even though use global should have fixed that. I'm not convinced. See? Oh, that's... Come on! Ugh. That base builder is smart. I like his, I like what he's doing. He keeps on building. Ooh, playing a dangerous game. He keeps on building behind his big walls. So we can bear, we can't do a whole lot of damage to him. I'm getting planked. What am I getting planked from? I don't see anything. So he's building enough to where we have to pay attention to him. He's a nuisance. Like that. <laughs> See what I mean? For some reason, the third person or first person no scope is literally better now. <laughs> I I think it's because the way the animation works, the firing animation, there's just something about the first person that's more that's tighter. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is. What? Oh, it's a blast wall. I wonder how much damage I can do to it. Can't tell. And 
that, that's a pretty... Wait, that took almost no... Interesting. Okay. Maybe I could just take the walls down. Let's try that. I'm at 6,000 health. I need to get another 1,000 here in a second. Oh, he's running to repair it. He knows it's in trouble. Interesting. Just keep on blasting. I think I can overpower him. He's got another one here, so I'm going to attack this one because it only has a quarter of the health. There we go. Down. Now he knows we're on to him. Now I'm going back. Plucking away at this. I think I can take it. He sees me. Ooh, he hit a tower back there. See, he's a, he's a smart builder. I like it. take down brute force my way in I didn't expect it to actually work though because I can't see the health bars I normally don't go for walls because they just have a boatload of hit HP what huh ammo. Alright, so I'm gonna go get me some ammo. There's gonna be some at the tower here. So then maybe I'll switch to... Wait. That's ours. But let's regroup back here first. Fire suppression to help that along. Man, it's much more useful now that I can use it any time and not have like a mental block of I need to save it whenever I'm on fire. That's way more helpful. And you know, I'm gonna do the team a solid and I'm gonna switch. Get up my logistics specialist. Ooh, even the floor is shiny. I like playing on Ultra. It's pretty cool. So let's get my logistics out with counter. Yeah, yeah let's go with counter. Let's see how I do without the range finder. So now I can move like a normal person and have people spawn in on me. Because I own the vehicle. He's been. Oh. Buddy. Oh! <clears throat> okay. That's a cool base builder. I, I applaud those efforts right there. Relentless. And apparent, eventually, someone will make a mistake and not pay attention, and he'll build something that's very beneficial to his team and then help wipe us out. At this point in time, if I were him, I'd be building a spawn capability. So I'd have a Sunderer with a reinforcements module. What the? too far down. Need to angle better. So let's go with this. Alright, I might not be able to deploy for a little while here, but maybe just a little more. Oh! Look at him. Putting fire on me. Good. There we go. But, party's over. Where'd the Colossus go? Oh, he's way over there. Smart. It's a smart Colossus player. Me, my dumb self, over here by myself. 
<laughs> Prowler. Yeah. That's okay. I'm going to go something just Dang. I don't know what the heck that was. Something just eviscerated my cordium, which meant that I took a ton of damage in a very short amount of time. Okay. We have legit tank fighting going on here. Alright, let's see if I can start getting some gunners. Huh? Need some guns. The Colossus is pulling back. And that's because he sees the right on the wall with all of these vehicles. Let's go ahead and follow suit. Colossus stick together. I think this is a smart Colossus player. Taking stock of the situation and then trying to figure it out with a full contingent. Yeah. But he's not angling, so I don't think he realizes. Oh, okay. Oh. He's retreating to where I don't know. I love that. That's so cool. Oh, I have a gun too. Yay. No, not enough. You need to be right here to do it. See that? What a smart builder. He's, he has air... Three air pulls right on the front line. Good for him or her. And that is an AA gun behind the blast walls. So we'll we'll shoot this down first. Whoa. We'll shoot down. Oh, trying to kamikaze. I like it. So we'll shoot down the right blast wall. That should open up for me to be able to hit that power behind it. This is a good one. I like this fight. It's a puzzle. I'm super impressed with this base builder. Well done. Ooh, pain spire? Did it. And you too. Almost dead. Gunner should be able to finish that one off. Alright, so now we've broken through. People on the top can see the modules. Shit won't be long now. There's a reinforcements module. Or router. That was a router spire. Routing spire. So now we have the base. Well done, though. Very impressive. flying mosquito smart on him we just skylands and have a field day on him we're gonna go ahead and stock back up ammo give me a little heal even though he might not need it I just let him know I'm here I'm a friend um, let's go with this new one I have Put it right there. Heal you up too. Sorry. 
<clears throat> so last we were here, there were quite a few dangerous. Oh, nice. Man, good, good sounds. I like them. There were quite a few armor. Who are these people? Whoever they are, I really like what we've got going on. Ooh. A little bit of aggressive play from a lightning. Yep. Hello. Kill him. Oh gosh, there's at least three prowlers right there. Watch out, watch out. I don't want to kill you. That is a lot of armor over there. So this is going to be a good fight. So I have guns. I think all I need... Ooh. Get him! Can't let that stand. Okay. Fire suppression. Let's get out. Ooh, they are zeroed in on us. Let's roll. It would be smart if I pulled up to this coral. Guns are at yellow, but not all of them. If I pull up to this coral, I'm in a little bit danger mode with the spawn, but I'm in better. Yeah, that's right, sucker. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. We got a GTFO. We got GTFO now. Run. 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 <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs> like Colossus saw his buddy die and he's like, I'm just going to keep going, I guess. <laughs> cool. Cool. Good for him or her, whoever the driver is. That's a good fight. I might just pull another. All right. Peace.